Welcome to TradeTheNBA.com. This is John's report is for the 11th, and not surprisingly, right off the support, uh, we were looking at the steel rising back above the 13.5 as an indication that that was going to take place. Not to mention, uh, no dip below the red line uh, from an extreme histogram standpoint, which is also relatively bullish, bullish even though it dipped slightly, um, still provides potential for turnaround there. The fade off of uh, shorts, though, was really significant, uh, and that allowed the uh, mention to pop up here. It hasn't quite crossed back above uh, to signal a new uh, buy signal, but close enough and exactly what we were expecting to see from within that uh, general range. I don't think any of it's surprising. NASDAQ, even stronger, didn't even come close to its uh, lower percentage uh, number, so I think uh, all that's pretty consistent with the fact that it didn't have a uh, steel dip below the negative 13.5. So it was just a full reset of uh, short term buyers. Uh, didn't change the fact that short's still active within this zone. So uh, we keep an eye on that DOC from the uh, rising sign, but it uh, won't take much for a turnaround there. But what we're creating here again, like we talked about, that lower shakeout. Um, and matching highs. Now it could still uh, maintain itself at this particular stage uh, before breaking down, but uh, poses some concerns, particularly if you don't have that uh, magenta back over uh, yellow, and particularly here now at the 25 level, which is why we've seen a little bit more. You know, and this is what you get the early stages of it where, you know, any discount people who think they've missed the rally jump back into it, and uh, we see how long. <laughs> they can last before uh, too much selling takes place within them. And of course, TLT Treasury's uh, recognition that higher rates exist, and the higher rates actually suggest a higher market. So uh, it's one of those realities. They're not going to take a discount to the bond market. Uh, not happening. From an oil standpoint, uh, leveling off right in that uh, upper side of the range, and that's not... Uh, too surprising. Uh, you're going to get this back and forth here unless there's some kind of either uh, economic fade or a significant increase, but they've been keeping a pretty tight lid on that production levels. The euro continuing its uh, assault back to the upside here, and they're not going to let that fade down and get back into the problem areas if they can avoid it. Uh, doesn't change anything as far as the eurozone still in recession territory. And from a gold standpoint, holding on, it's going to be a little bit weaker, I think, than the offset of the cryptos, which have uh, performed well, particularly Bitcoin, not even uh, ETH. Bitcoin has been far bigger layer than ETH, you can see, significantly. And we already talked about the justifications and reasons for that uh, from a news standpoint. From that 50K, you can see that after the fill back in, created the equivalent little intraday double bottom from that standpoint that was enough to build us back to 50 percent still in decent uh, condition at this particular stage and uh, nothing's changed from that standpoint you still have green over red doc and we just started with gold rising so that should be enough to uh, hold into that uh, position and we look at from the intraday intraday we started off with that early selling but as i was doing the report uh, for the morning uh, we had already seen the beginnings of the turnaround, and that was pretty easy to see that that's uh, where they were taking this set. And it just continued to slide back up to the peaks, filled in, took out uh, some of those positive extremes that had been created all the way across from the beginning of the uh, upper side of the run, right there through the secondary one. The only one that wasn't filled was the uh, beginning breakout, which that can happen quite often. And then we move towards the post market here as we were right back up to the highs uh, as soon as the close took place. The usual buy back up and uh, you know, put yourself in position for the next day. And uh, all things being equal, the market's behaving quite nicely, good volatility and excellent ranges. But uh, anything scary, not particularly at this particular stage. So. Just go with what is. Um, I think I will be uh, out most of tomorrow and possibly Wednesday. Um, if I'm able to, I will definitely get uh, some details up. But uh, heading back to the beach for a little coolness. Why not take advantage of, you know, summer fun? As always, though, trade well. We'll talk in later.